What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Forza Horizon 5 here in the autumn season of series number one. We're going to continue on with the festival playlist and knock out some of the miscellaneous things. First, I do want to start out with the event labs um, challenge or whatever you want to call it. So this is the gauntlet of fun. I'm very curious to see what this actually is. As you can see, the car restriction is drive any A-class car. So I'm going to go ahead and... Is it at the Colossus? That's what it seems like. So we'll go ahead and jump over here and knock that out. All right, let's see. So I'm going to do yeah, the Gauntlet of Fun. We're going to do it solo. Okay, it's just the one. So we need an A-class car. What to use, what to use. I feel like it's going to be a lot of off-roady kind of stuff. Seems like a lot of the Forzathon cars are, or Forza Edition cars are just in A-Class. That's pretty neat. Um, let's use our GT86. We just used this in the um, last video for the, I mean, we were just in the Lotus as well. I guess that wouldn't have been a bad option. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll use the GT86. We just used this in the When It Rains It Pours championship, but we'll get some more use out of it. So the Gauntlet of Fun. I don't know how long this race is going to be. I don't know if it's like... Well, it's not a race. Because we're not racing anybody else. Let's see. So we just have to get, I guess, through the course. And I think this is just showing off, you know, kind of what Event Labs can do. So as we go by this airplane, you'll hear the plane. Maybe not. I thought that that's the way it was set up, but... I think this is more so just showing off what Event Labs can really do in this game. And it's crazy that this is, you know, how races are. How races can be in this game, so... Got some beach balls. All the pinatas. All right, finish first. So super duper easy, get you three points on the seasonal championship. So it took me 36 seconds. That's very easy enough to do. Hit continue. I think that should be all. Yeah, so we got the windows to da horn. To da horn, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I think that's a good example. I mean, that's a, probably the best way that they could like introduce Event Labs and like actually show people what it does. Just make a really short, easy event um, with like tons of stuff in it. So, all right, we got that done. We're gonna look at the seasonal PR stunts now. So we'll start here with the danger sign. So this is mountaintop. I'm assuming that this is at the volcano, and you can see the car restriction is A class 800. So I'm gonna jump up there and. And I will see you guys up there when we get a car. All right, I've jumped into our 1965 Ford Mustang GT Coupe. Currently, it's in B class, so um, let's go over here to Tune and see if we can't find something. I chose this one because it is the lightest. Um, so we'll see what if one of these tunes can help us here. So this one's called Mountaintop. So this is how I usually find my tunes, is I try to find things that are either from the tuners that I know, or, you know, obviously say it in the name. Um, here is that share code if you want to try it out yourself. It's going to be 378-190-365. Let me throw it on here. The price might not be the exact same because I already own some parts for it. It is going to be 56, almost 57,000 credits for me. But again, it could be more expensive for you, just depending on what parts I already owned and what parts you already owned. So, oh, that sounds badass. Excuse my language. All right, let's see. It's probably not the best line I have going through here, but we'll see. Well, actually, what do we need first? I think we need like 1,300. I should probably check this before I like jump into it. 1,230 feet. Okay. Let's see. That is a big old jump. Alright, not quite. We did get a new personal best. But we need a little more speed. 
Okay, so let me try to get an actual better line at it. And we'll see if we can do a little bit better. Instead of cutting through the grass, we'll actually, uh, you know, not. We'll stay on the road. Okay, and we hit this one at 135-ish. I don't think we're going to get it there either. We almost got it there. Okay. So we need it a little faster than 135. Jump over here to this guy in the Sesto. And we'll see if we can't use a little bit more run up. There's an XP board over here it says. Let's go ahead and just smash that real quick. All right, let's see if we can use a little bit more of a run up here. I don't know if this is going to help us. I don't know if that was enough of a run up really. 137 is what we hit it at there. I mean, realistically, I guess you want to aim more towards the left. We did get it there though. Because if you aim more towards the left, there's a little less ground higher up. So I think we should have got the seasonal objective there. Maybe. Maybe not. No, it didn't give it to us. Although our personal best is much high. Well, it's 30 feet higher. Okay. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Let's do this. Seasonal PR stats. All right, let's go try it again and see. I don't know if you have to get three. Well, I mean, there's no way we're going to get three stars in this thing. So I'm going to travel over here, see if we can't get much more of a run up. If it doesn't give it to me, I'm not that worried about it. It's just kind of dumb. I mean, the game's still a little buggy from launch, um, and that's fine. But I was really hoping that some of this stuff would have been, you know, chalked out by now. All right, let's see. This one should be a pretty good run. 140. And we definitely got it, got it there. But let's see if it gives it to us. It probably won't. So we obviously know we need more than for three stars. And it doesn't seem like it's going to give it to us. So, okay, whatever. Um, we're just going to move on. I'm not that worried about it. Um, kind of dumb, but... It is what it is. So let's go ahead and move to the Rio Forte speed zone. So that one is up here. And we need an S1900 modern supercar. And that one's nice because if we get three stars, well, if we get the seasonal objective, we get three stars as well. So I'm going to jump up here and I'll see you guys here in a second. All right, we're jumping into our 2017 Nissan GTR for this. Um, I really don't know what tune is on here. It was it's one of the cars that I had set up in a prior video, so um, We'll see if this thing can do it. We need a hundred and twenty five miles an hour and Obviously speed traps are an average so you have to maintain hundred and twenty five miles an hour Or you know just average it through the speed trap. So we'll see if we can't do that We may need something with a little more downforce is what it's feeling like. Yeah, I think I definitely gonna need something with a little more downforce. 119. I mean, that's not awful. Let me try it again from this side. I don't think that I'm gonna be able to get it in this car. But we'll give it another shot. So the speed zones, you can do some corner cutting. I don't know how much this game allows. Like, obviously, that's way too much. Okay. Yeah, I think it's probably going to be easiest to hit it from this side anyway. I think. But let me swap cars and see if I can't find something better. So they're using a Huracan. I don't know if that's the best option or not, but I'll see you guys here in a sec. All right, I'm busting out a Ford GT. Let's throw a tune on it. 
Um, so that one is says speed zone seasonal. So we'll give it a shot. Um, and the share code for it is one four two five six six three seven two. Let's see how much money it costs to put this on. Obviously, it's swapping the, the GT from rear wheel to all wheel drive. This is going to cost about forty four thousand credits. Hopefully, it's worth it. I mean. It's for a wheel spin, so you're really just kind of throwing money up in the air. But let's see. Hopefully it can actually get us the objective, and hopefully it actually works and actually gives us the wheel spin if it um, if we do complete it. Corner cut that. Corner cut that. Ooh, a little too much on the outside there. Okay, I think that this thing can get it if we drive it a little better. All right, let's try it from this side. Okay, come on, straighten up. All right, I'm trying it from this side now. Let's see what it does. Yeah, the turn is a lot harder to hit on this side than it is on the other. Come on, come on, come on, come on, climb. Oh man. Yeah, I think it's gonna be easier to hit it on this side. All right, let's go for another run. Yeah, these, I mean, with these having, like, challenges on them, like, you know, car restrictions, it definitely makes them more challenging, which is nice. I mean, it definitely not as easy as just taking, you know, the, the Ferrari uh, 599 and just going into the race or the speed trap and just absolutely killing it, right? Climb. We got it. All right, there we go. Let's see if it gives us the seasonal thing. Yeah. So I wonder if you have to three-star it right now to actually get the seasonal objective. I mean, it's dumb if that's the case. Um, but that is seeing, or appearing what it is. Um, let's drive through this cave real quick. I've not driven through this yet. This is awesome. Alright, there we go. Additional road discovered. So let's go see what the final PR stunt for the season is. It is the drag strip speed trap. And that car restriction is Ferrari S2998. I don't know what Ferraris I even have. So, seasonal objective is 200 miles an hour. I'm going to go over here, jump to the end, the very end of the drag strip, and jump into a Ferrari. And I'll see you guys in a second. All right, we're jumping into the F40 Competizione. This is the barn find that you get. Um, let me throw a tune on it real quick. Let's see. This one says seasonal. Um, we're going to take it as it is. There's a share code. 163726280. So Team Fung is one of the people that I use their tunes a lot. So we'll give it a shot and see if we can get it. 80,000 credits. Crazy amount of credits. So, Alright. But boy how does she wants to go. So... Let's start off a little bit back here and see us give us as much of a run up as we can. I mean, we're already over 100 miles an hour, so we should be able to get this relatively easy. There's 200, so now we're just booking it down and we come across at about 229, 230. There are so many Ferraris in Mexico. Right, there is a Horizon Festival. All right, so that did give us that. So, the only one that we missed out on, that we really didn't miss out on, was the uh, volcano jump. I may try to do it off screen again, but for the most part, um, that worked out really well. Let's go ahead and hit this. We're not at full speed, and our Ferrari is tilting backwards. But, we'll go ahead and hit that 1,200 feet. I don't even know what three stars is. We already had three stars, but... Um, let's see. I think we can do the photo challenge real quick as well. Um, so, oh, well, that would have been 
smart to do it while we were at the top of the volcano. Actually, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to jump back to the top of the volcano. We're going to take this photo, and then I'm going to use a different muscle car and see if I can't give it a shot again to see if it picks it up. I don't know. So I'll see you guys at the top of the volcano here in just a second. All right. Jumping in the Subaru WRX STI. I think all we need to do is snap a quick photo here. And it should give us the... Yeah, there we go. So we got the sleepy emote. All right. Go ahead and get a, a screenshot here for the thumbnail. If we don't use anything else. All right. So now I'm going to jump into a... Another muscle car. Or I wonder if I should just try doing that in a normal car and see how, if I can get three stars and then try doing it in the muscle car. I think that's what I'm going to try, actually. So, what was... It was like 1,600 feet. Yeah. Let's see. Alright, so this is what we're going to try. I pulled out the RS200. This is a Hoonigan RS200. I'm going to see if I can get three stars on the jump by itself um well, we're not gonna do it with that kind of a line um but i'm gonna see if i can get three stars on the jump itself and then try to do it in the muscle car to see if maybe you have to have three stars first and then it'll give you the seasonal objective when it's not trying to actually like you know complete the three stars so we're gonna hit this at 174 miles an hour ish miles an hour. I forget what we needed. I think it was like 1500 feet We got 17 so a new personal best obviously we did get three stars there. Okay so That got us the three stars 1700 feet that's crazy And we're only in the top 44% so now I'm gonna jump back up here jump back into our Mustang and see if we can get the seasonal objective now that the three stars is complete. Right. Let us start our run with the Mustang. We need a hundred and third or forty ish miles an hour, I think it was. We only hit it 134 there. I don't think we're gonna get to the 1200 or so. 1223. So we need 1223, I think it was. So we almost got it there. I'm just gonna rewind, you know, just see us float in the air, you know, fun stuff. Need a better line. Get a little bit more of a run up from the start. And we'll try to go a little more. Alright, let's try this here. Hundred and thirty seven. Let's see what we get. 1,271. So that should get us the seasonal object. There we go. Okay. So I don't know if that's the actual case that solved it or if it just started working again. But if you are having issues, try to get three stars on it first with a different car and then come back and do the seasonal objective. So, um, let's see. Now we're close to getting the AMG one. We're only 15 points away from that. That's neat. And we're two points away from the Radical RXC. Um, and we'll easily get that when we do the uh, weekly force -a -thon challenge. So there we go. That is the three seasonal objectives, the photo challenge, as well as taking a look at the first event labs challenge here in Horizon 5 in the autumn season. Hope you guys did enjoy or found the video helpful. If you did, definitely leave a like on the video. Definitely get subscribed for future Forza Horizon 5 content. But I do hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and we will see you in the next video.